Western Minnesota has no shortage of horse farms and even rodeo stars. In Granite Falls, the animals are used for something perhaps even more important. John Lawrenson shows us how Hands and Hooves is changing lives at Lemar Ranch. It's always fun to go to a rodeo. Oh, look at this! Each year, the Western Fest Rodeo at Lemar Ranch draws quite a crowd. But when the calf roping is done and the crowds have left, there you go. The ranch okay. takes on a different tone. And there's your reins. One centered on hands, hooves. How you doing? And Healy. Goosebumps all the time. Yeah, it's so fun. It's so rewarding. People of all ages with physical, emotional, and mental challenges grow confidence while riding a horse. Come on, Tuck. They pick up really quickly on your mood. They pick up really quickly on what you need. Since being a single mom, I'm uh, trying to find a way to walk through grief with your kids. A year ago, Tracy Wilson's fiance passed away. Not knowing how to help her kids, she discovered Lee Mars horse therapy, and she's glad she did. It's therapy for all of us, honestly, and I'm, I'm really grateful for this program. Are you ready to go? <laughs> Come on over. 12-year-old Tenley Beerhansel is here for a different reason. She's nonverbal. Um, we watch her eyes for uh, communication. Are you ready? <laughs> Tenley has Angelman syndrome, which causes developmental disabilities. There you go. When she Are first began ready? coming here with her grandma, okay. it took five people to help her, but not anymore. Tenley is building strength with a smile. It's a blessing to be able to work with Tenley and just watch all the development. It's just been a godsend all these years. Perhaps nobody better understands what these families are going through than Jeremy Pauling. He's the board president of the Lee Mar Equine Center. I had a daughter that uh, she passed away nine years ago. Caitlin courageously battled Batten's disease and slowly took away her motor skills. But Jeremy believes some of those skills would temporarily come back when she was riding baby, her beloved horse. It couldn't be explained. It's like, wow. We're going to come around. Lemar Ranch helps 45 people a year with horse therapy, but Jeremy believes they actually help 45 families because it's not just the participants who improve. Their smiles are what make us go. How you doing, Tara Lee, okay? Just seeing those kids smile says, there's Caitlin up there on that horse smiling at me. You know, it's things like that hit strong at the heart. In Granite Falls with photojournalist Tom Avillis, John Lordson, WCCO News. And the Hands and Hooves program has about 40 volunteers and they provide therapy year round, three days a week. Well, still ahead at noon, a cross between a pizza and a casserole. The Mr. Fruit Test Kitchen has an easy dinner idea.